was a busy weekend for fire crews in the high country as they responded to three separate wildfires in the Flagstaff area. As Michaela Clark reports, with a lack of snow this winter and how dry and windy it's been lately, the Flagstaff Fire Department is prepared for an active fire season. Dry air and high winds. Uh, not really feeling it. Uh, I was riding my bike and I kind of like tilted. <laughs> so yeah, lots of wind, but you know, it's spring, so. And with basically no snow to speak of, the risk of wildfire is rising. It's scary to think about how it could get worse in the next couple of months. Yeah, I wish we would get some rain or snow. This weekend is proof that the fire season isn't coming. It's here. The Flagstaff Fire Department responded to three wildfires in the last few days. All three seem to have been human caused. Um, I believe the Abbey Fire um, was caused by an unattended campfire. The Abbey Fire, which sent a huge plume of smoke into the air Sunday, was the most significant this weekend. Due to the high winds and the dry conditions that we currently have, uh, that fire grew very rapidly um, and grew to about a 30 acre fire. Although the Abbey fire was the largest, it wasn't the most threatening. You can hear the charred grass crunch beneath your feet here at the side of the Moritz fire. Although it did not get as big as the Abbey fire, it still got dangerously close to some homes. Though the causes of all three fires are under investigation, crews want to remind the public that campfires and open burning is not allowed within Flagstaff city limits. If you have something in your backyard, it has to be covered like a chiminea or some sort of screen covering over it to keep the embers and ashes from getting away and spotting. It's no secret that Flagstaff saw an unusually dry winter. Now add even drier air and high spring winds and conditions are perfect for a blaze. But fire officials say they're ready. Michaela Clark, NAZ Today.